Good morning, you guys. <laughs> it is Tuesday, and I'm gonna be filming a unfil n n not a an unfiltered day in my life for you guys. I haven't done one of these since college back in the day. <laughs> I'm freshly graduated. I don't know why I said it like that. I literally just woke up. If you guys haven't seen these videos on my channel before, I literally don't make any edits. I just turn on the camera and put all the clips together so you get the full, real aspect. Um, so it's 7.45, I just woke up, no alarm. I've just been waking up naturally around like 7.30, 8 o'clock, which I'm kind of loving. I feel like my life is very together. My voice is very hoarse because I just woke up. I haven't had my first sip of water. Um, oh, hair's looking good. We're in a Georgia alumni shirt. Um, today, we just have random things to do. My mom and I might go to the mall later. Um, but yeah. Welcome to an unfiltered day in my life where I take you guys along my day in a very unfiltered way. That rhymed. I woke up starving. I usually wake up just wanting breakfast right away. So we're gonna go do that. Subscribe if you guys are new here for new videos. I move to New York next week. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, precious. As soon as he sees you coming, he just like rolls over. Hello. Go to breakfast, some oatmeal, or I do eggs. But today I'm feeling some oatmeal. Came outside to eat my oatmeal this morning. Oh my gosh, the humidity is already fogging up my lens. Hold on. Finley, if there's food, he joins. I'm sure other people's dogs are the same way. Stretch, baby, stretch. <laughs> it's so still in the morning. He hasn't been out yet this morning. We're gonna go play out back for a little. It's always part of the routine when we take Finley out. And with Miley, it's funny that we also do it with him, is we go to the dock first and then we go to the bathroom, unless it's an emergency, he'll go first. The water, it's so low tide right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but it's so pretty. Thankfully, we haven't seen much of the red tide. However, it is so beyond sad. If you guys are not familiar, red tide does happen um, once every summer usually, but it's not supposed to happen. It's due to polluting and all sorts of things. And it's really, really sad. Yesterday, my mom and I went for a walk on the beach and there were definitely some dead fish washed up to the shore that aren't normally there. Um, and it's not normal. And I'll link some resources down below that have kind of been helping me learn more about them. I've grown up knowing about the red tide and seeing it. It's been worse than other times. Like one time we saw like hundreds of dead fish here when I was really, really little. It was the saddest thing in the world. Um, and there are things we can do for sure. Um, but thankfully it hasn't really affected this area of where we live. Um, I know it's affected a lot of St. Pete and it's moving on now. Um, but yeah, I had some people asking me about it and it's definitely something of topic that we talk about in my family and in the community. Um, it's so sad. Not that you guys probably care, but we just got a new seawall and boardwalk. And my brother and my dad put these little rocks on either side and along the thing. And it actually just looks so good. And I had to shout them out because I think it looks great. All right, Finley, go potty. Do your thing. Do your thing. Go potty. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do a little skincare this fine morning. Um, my skin's been really good except on both sides of my nose. I've had like little bumps and I picked out them. They weren't even like pimples. They were just like, I guess they were like little blackheads. So I was just like picking at them. Um, so I'm going to use these exfoliant pads around my nose and my whole face. 
And then I'm gonna do a little cleanser and moisturizer and all of that. Um, but yeah, I love waking up this early naturally. I feel like I have so much time ahead of me. Like I can do so much before it even hits 11 a.m. And the question is, am I going to? I'm really trying to get back on my workout grind. I really have not been <laughs> at all. Um, even doing a little workout log to kind of get back into spin. I just like haven't had the motivation if I'm being honest. So yesterday I went on the Peloton for 36 minutes and did my own thing. I mainly stayed in the saddle and just like would ride fast and beat drops and stuff. And then today maybe I'll get out for one song and slowly just work my way back. Um, I'm like scrubbing at my nose. It's probably not the best thing to do. Um, so I need to do something like that again today, but we shall see what that is. And I really want coffee right now, but I don't love drinking coffee right before I work out because it gets me all jittery and I don't know, it's not my favorite. Using the Proven Skincare um, Regimen right now. This is a personalized cleanser. Um, this video is not sponsored, but I do have a code, it's Danielle20, if you want to check it out, you just take a quiz and grab everything about your skin, and it makes one literally for your skin, it's so great. Sorry, I can't edit this out. The walk to the towel when your face is dripping wet. Oh. It does feel refreshing. And then I also have the personalized daily moisturizer and it has SPF in it too, which is great. So I'm just gonna put this on as well. And that's really the skincare I'm going to do this morning. Oh, it's like the best feeling doing skincare in the morning. Like sometimes you don't want to do it and you have to force yourself to wake up and wash your face and stuff. But it really, it wakes you up. It's all you need. Um, so, Ooh. All right, let's get the day started. We're gonna turn the light on. I've been really into pulling the blinds all the way up, which I never used to do. Um, but I love the look. I keep stopping and starting recording so I don't, because I can't edit, you know? I'm um, gonna make my bed here amateurly. Is that a word? Amateurly? I don't know. Um, but this way I hopefully don't get back in bed. <laughs> Updates to come. But, oh, I gotta crawl over. That's the only thing about having your bed in the corner is you gotta kinda crawl to make the bed. You gotta work for it. All right, now we're gonna pull this. this way. I honestly forget I have a view of the water from my room because I can never see it. But now that I open the windows, it's really cool. Also, I love this. This is the whole Steam Manifesto. Um, you can look it up to read the whole thing but I, I just love this motto so much. It's like, this is your life. Do what you love and do it often. If you don't like something, change it. If you don't like your job, quit it. If you don't have enough time, stop watching TV. So great. I wanna light a candle today. I'm feeling this one. It's basically like the Capri Blue candle, but I got it from Nordstrom Rack for a fraction of the price. And it's such a huge size. This has lasted like a month already, I'd say. And it's amazing. And I also got this one at Nordstrom Rack. And I also really like it. It's like rosewood and vanilla. It really just smells like rose. It's so nice. I started to put long sleeves aside to take to New York when I was cleaning out my closet in last week's vlog. I came across a ton of long sleeves that I definitely won't be wearing here. So I'm gonna put them downstairs and pack them because they're just some good basics and bodysuit um, long sleeves. They're just good for layering for the fall. Wow, I'm gonna get to experience like a real fall. I'm really pumped about it. 
hello. So, um, I just drank two water bottles full of this and I'm on my third. I'm really thirsty this morning and it's good to stay hydrated. I literally just got this off Amazon. I love it so much. It's a 16 ounce water bottle, but it's reusable, obviously. We are gonna do our daily planner of the day. This is the planner I designed with doing well dailies. It's just not in focus, there we go. Um, we created this around this time last year and I still love it, I'm on a new one. Um, so we're gonna turn to the next page because I used it yesterday. There's a single day on each page. I always like it for it to be a surprise. If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. All right, you guys, if you're waiting for a sign, this is it. I told you so. So I'm gonna go through this page and write what I'm grateful for today, my affirmations, trace this quote with this black felt pen that comes with it. I always link this down below. Um, and then what I'm gonna do for self-care today, which also equals like workout, anything self-care I put here, my mood, an, an act of kindness, how many water bottles I've drank, so I can drink two of these already. <laughs> um, and then on this page, once you've woken up a little bit, we're gonna do a little get after the day, life to do's, and um, work and side hustle stuff that I need to do as well. So, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna start off by writing Tuesday on the top. And I'm gonna play some music while I do this because it just gets me in the right headspace and the right mood. I actually, I was gonna wait to show you guys this playlist until I got to New York because it makes the most sense. But um, I'll show you guys now because I have been listening to it already. It's called Dancing in the Kitchen of My NYC Apartment. Delaney sent me a TikTok like shouting this playlist out and now I'm obsessed. It's all um, like Dean Martin. Etta James, Frank Sinatra, Put Your Records On, Little Jackson 5, it's just like Nat King Cole, very kind of like jazzy vibes like when you're cooking dinner, but there's some songs on here that I wouldn't typically listen to, um, and some songs that have I've heard on TikTok and I didn't realize they were like jazz songs, which is kind of funny. Um, so, oh Ryan just snapchat me, what'd he say? <laughs> He's working. <laughs> this is the sweetest thing. Oh, Finley's in trouble. So, anyways, I'm gonna send him a little picture of my planner. <laughs> I'm gonna get to it. I'll see you guys in a little. All right, it's workout time. Finley and mom are gonna go for a walk. He's feeling very wild right now. Um, we're gonna pick out my little workout outfit together. I always struggle with this because I'm like, oh, I don't wanna wear my cute one because I'm just gonna wear it and then wash it. But like, that's the point. Um, so, I think we're gonna go for this blue moment because it makes me really happy. This is an Amazon workout set. It was like 28 bucks. This is a size medium. It comes with biker shorts and then um, this halter top, which I love, which is great for spin. I think I'm gonna hop on the Peloton and do some sort of workout. It is just so hot in Florida in August, you guys. Like it's a little unbearable at times, so I try to work out as early as I can because it's cooler in the morning, obviously. I just look so good in this vlog so far. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this workout set on and we're gonna get after it. All right, here's the set on. I will link it below. I have it in a couple colors. I am obsessed with this brand on Amazon. They just have the best stuff and just great quality. I'm just wearing socks and slides because I'm gonna put on my spin shoes when I get down there. Um, but yeah, getting back in the grind. Of course, like right before I leave, <laughs> I'm about to leave my Peloton. And I think my apartment, my new apartment has a bike in the gym, but it's not like a Peloton or anything. So I'll have to figure it out, but I'm sure it's so great. Um, so yeah, let's go. All right, before we head down, I wanted to take a ginger shot because I'm a little sleepy. I haven't had coffee yet. Um, I'll have it after I work out but ginger shot kind of wakes me up a little bit and it's obviously great for you. It's like taking a little vitamin every day. Um, whew, this is fresh ginger root from our local juicery. They put ginger, lemon, and cayenne on the top and it it's spicy, so. Got my little Chicago shot glass. If you know, you know. Cheers, let's, let's get after the day. Well, I'm not ready for this. Ah, 
<laughs> ah! Woo! All right, let's head down. Hello, garage. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know last summer we redid our garage to be a gym during quarantine. And it was pretty great. We still love it, honestly. Whew, I'm gonna turn this fan on because it's about to get hot in here. I literally have it at the Peloton. I put this little thing right here. Um, actually, I don't remember why I did this. Oh, yesterday I was like putting my water on it but I can put my water in here. I'm gonna turn this on. Sorry if the fan's really loud. <laughs> I think I'm gonna actually take a class today. The classes are just different because for me, I like rhythmic spins um, with less resistance, more choreo and um, like arm workouts. Um, and with Peloton, I love it, but it's definitely more resistance based. So I just kind of make it my own. But then sometimes my results show like I did nothing because I didn't do what they wanted me to do. I'm a rebel. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna put my spin shoes on and do like a 30 minute workout. Not to brag or anything, um, but oh, <laughs> I wanted to work out at 10 a.m. I put that in my calendar and it's, well, it's 10.04, okay? Um, all right get to it so as you can see Alex is definitely what is this one of my favorite instructors this is telling me what I should do oh they know me I love Jess Kang and Alex Toussaint these are like my favorite I also like oh no I also like Kendall a lot um, she's great I it's for me it's really based off music though and so I like their music so I like to check out what songs we're working with so we've got some Drake, Justin Bieber, Bruno Mars. This could be a good one, and it's a newer one. Actually, no, this is from May, but I'll bookmark it for sure. I like to. I really like to check out my options because if it's not good music, I like can't work out. I'm so weird. Oh, and these are all about to start. They're gonna be live. I've actually never taken a live class before. Um, that could be fun. I don't know. I'll update you guys what I did. They have country rides. There's really so many options. I heard there's like some Broadway rides. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I've been looking for 10 minutes because I, I don't know. It's fun to look around, but we're going to do this 20 minute new tracks ride with Alex. I just like the music that's going on and then I'll do my own arm workout with these uh, two pounders. So let's get to it. I think I just started it. Gotta put the volume up. I love him. On the cool down, he's playing Drake. We love that. <laughs> Sydney, I'm back from my workout. Hi. All right, just got back from my workout and the FedEx guy dropped off a lovely package while I was working out in the garage was open, so we said hello. It was really kind of awkward. I got a new computer case for my laptop because it's been naked. If you guys didn't know, I had to get a new computer. My old computer, I'm gonna um, bring it to Apple. Um, but I love this computer case so much. Why do I keep saying computer laptop case? I have so many stickers on there and I just keep layering them. Like I've recently added some, but it is time. We're moving to New York. I'm not in college anymore. So I got a more sleek and chic computer case, laptop case, whatever, computer case. I really hope I got the right one. This is from Chic Geeks. I'll link it down below but it's this beautiful brown um, reptile, crocodile, fake obviously. Um, but I just love it, it goes with the aesthetic of my apartment in New York, so <laughs> we're gonna put it on. Oh my gosh, I love how it looks. It looks so sleek and chic like I was saying. The bottom is black, this is so beautiful. Definitely gonna miss the stickers though. 
All right, I just showered and we're gonna make a little latte because I promised myself once I worked out, I would make one. I'm so particular about the cups I like. Like this cup is so fun to make a good little ice latte with. Um, it's one of these. We used an espresso original line. These are the Intensity 10 espresso pods. Um, I'll put you guys here. Um, hopefully this is working. I'm not wearing this, I'm just wearing it right now. Whenever I like first shower, I don't like to get dressed. I like to just put on a t-shirt or something, but I like half put on my outfit. I think I'm gonna wear these baggy white jeans today. Um, but anyways, that's besides fun. I am getting sleepy, need coffee. Gonna do a double shot and then I'm gonna make it into an ice latte and I think I'm gonna eat a banana as well. Actually, I'm definitely gonna eat, uh, eat a banana. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this amazingness. I love making coffee at home, especially anything with espresso because it's just so satisfying. Hurry, hurry, I poured the milk without filming it and I love the look of like the milk going through the coffee. It's so satisfying. Oh, Finley, do you want one too? I can make you a double shot. Yes, baby, hi. Guys, my mom walks in and just stunts with this outfit. I was not expecting this. Just like whatever. Like a little blowout and the yeah. shirt with the jeans, a little straight leg, and I'm literally about to purchase these shoes. She got them from Dillard's, right? Mm -hmm. Gianni Vinny. Super, super comfortable. I mean, like, I just, they're so cute. Like this, I literally wear this outfit. Oh my gosh. So where's everything from? A little OOTD. It's all Gap, believe it oh or not. Oh my gosh, I just love too. this. It's like a white tee, but then it's like, oh hey. With the puff, I know. And oh the jeans, are, they're like the high-waisted ones or whatever. Oh my god. I know. Oh, and the so, shoes. I know. I'm yeah. so proud. To take to New York too when we're walking around. Oh yeah. <laughs> love that. So cute. Love. Good job. Yeah. I think you should use this bag. How cute. Color. I just need the better lighting. Sorry. Pop. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. You should literally use that today. Okay. Well, Will you? Absolutely. If you like it, of course. Oh, no, I love this bag. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Thank you. All right, you guys, just finished getting ready. My mom and I are about to head to International Mall. It's my favorite mall ever. Um, it's the only mall I really enjoy going to anymore. Um, there's just so many great restaurants and there's a good Nordstrom there and Zara and I honestly need to go to Sephora and get some stuff. So I'll do a haul when I get back for sure. But I'm not taking you guys with us. I'm so sorry. Cause I'm also filming a much requested video, which is like a vlog where I show my favorite spots in Tampa. I'm gonna be doing that over the week. That's why I'm not filming like a week in my life vlog this week. Cause I'm just gonna be going to these places that I love in Tampa. So I'm showing you all my favorite spots and there are some of my favorite ones at the mall. So I'm gonna switch over to a different video. But when I come back, I mean, this is like a long video as it is. So I feel like it's fine. But here is my little outfit of the day. I love it. It's very fun, very summery. Top is from Revolve, it's Retro Feet. I love it, I'll link it below. It's just like a little pink tie-dye moment. Um, I was just getting really annoyed with the front pieces of my hair, so I just braided the front. I really hope this doesn't look stupid because I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. Argento Vivo, or no, Love AJ Earrings. My new Stodd bag, I was just really wanting a new white shoulder bag, and I love this one. This is the, um, moon bag i can't i think there's a large large one and this is just the moon bag and then there's like a mini and a macro so and it fits everything you could possibly need i just tried to show you guys what's in the bag but it has my wallet keys phone vlog camera sunglasses that could fit more too um jeans are from misguided i think yeah they're from misguided i love them they're baggy boyfriend jeans i'll link them below if they're still available because they're so amazing even though we won't be able to wear white soon right it's like after labor day <laughs> and then my dirty air force ones i'm seriously considering purchasing those shoes my mom has because they are so cute and platform and everything i told her she needed a pair of white sneakers so i'm glad she got those so yeah mom and i are gonna head out we're gonna have a little shopping day and then i'll come back and show you guys what i got finley was just so excited to see me when we got back <laughs> 
so cute. He like, if you haven't seen him for over an hour, he will do the full grand welcome and it's so cute. <laughs> Baby. Um, so definitely, oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> definitely did some shopping. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys right now. He's freaked out about these bags for some reason. He's spooked. Um, the Zara bag literally had no handles. I was walking around the mall, just, it was weird. All right, so I know my room is just a mess, and, but that's an unfiltered day of my life. Um, I'm gonna do a little Sephora haul for you guys. Um, I got some things that I already own, and mostly things that I wanted to try. I got more of this Way leave-in conditioner. Um, I'll link everything down below, by the way. But I love this, I just spray it in my hair after I get out of the shower. I got this combo from Patrick Ta. I'm really excited. This is the Patrick Ta Eyebrow Shaping Wax, and I got the clear one. They also had a color. Um, I've heard just great things about Patrick Ta in general. Like, I mean, first of all, the packaging. How do I open this? But it's just a clear wax, they call it. And then I got this spoolie. It's just a whole luxurious situation in general. Um, but I feel like this will give a really cool effect to my eyebrows and it'll just keep them in place, I feel like. Um, so you take this, I believe, and you just put your brows, like if you're into like the dramatic brows look, I think this would be great for that. It also has this side to it too. Um, I think this is for color though. Um, so I'll get, I'll keep you guys posted on this if I like it. Sorry, I'm like really tired. The mall just drains me um i have like 4,000 points beauty insider so i'm trying out the tatcha rice wash cleanser it's just i like to have travel things and then lastly i got the hourglass vanish flash highlighting stick in gold flash i will link it below for you guys i use the vanish foundation stick a lot of you guys probably know it and I was looking for a new highlighter. I wanted something more creamy that I could just apply. Um, and this is the same, it's the same product, but it's a highlight version. It's not like the foundation. And I know the creamy consistency is amazing. So I feel like this will just be perfect for highlighting. And I really wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, I think it's called. It's like a sponge almost. So I've seen it everywhere on TikTok and it was sold out. So. I'm guessing TikTok sold it out as it always does with things. So that's what I got at Sephora um, from Zara. We went Dunkin' Donut vibes again. <laughs> um, I'm like into pink and orange. Not that I'd wear these two together, it's just funny. Um, I've been seeing lots of people wear just these big oversized shirts. I have a blue and white striped one from Revolve that I love. This one is just pink. I got it in an XL. I just love it. It's this beautiful pink color, button down. Um, great as a swimsuit cover up or to wear with like denim shorts and some sandals. It's a great like summer to fall transition too. I think this dress, I had to have it. It's orange. It's like a midi maxi depending on your height. Um, I love the ruched detailing, just super simple to wear with some white sneakers or some sandals, some strappy detailing in the back. Um, and I just love this orange color. It's like a cream to call. Perfect for when I move to New York, just pop it on with a little tote bag. And then I got a pair of shoes. I've been looking for these shoes everywhere. Um, well, I've been looking for them at Zara. I wanted to try them on in person. These are so cute. They're just such great little platforms to wear with a dress when I don't wanna like wear sneakers because you guys get on me about that. I love sneakers and dresses, but sometimes you need to dress a little dressier. So I got these puppies and I really, really like them. And then lastly, from Express, um, we're working with them for Gals on the Go and they gave Brooke and I gift cards and I wanted to use it in person instead because why not? And I found some really great pieces. So, well, and my mom, I got my mom a couple things. She got some, she wanted me to tell you guys she loves their camis. They have great shelf bras, she said. Um, so I got this shirt because I feel like I'll just wear it a ton. It's good for going out or just in the daytime even. It's just this off white tank top. I love this thick stretchy material though. Um, I think it's just gonna be great with a pair of jeans. It has like a little cool back. Um, I'm just kind of obsessed, so that's good. 
And then I got this dress. Again, I think this would be cute, honestly, with some like cowboy western boots or sneakers, whatever. Um, it's this really cute, just white puffy dress. I've been wanting one of these. And I finally found one that I really, really liked. I actually got a size extra small because the small looked like it'd be almost too baggy on me. So updates to come. I never try things on. I'm so bad unless it's like jeans. Um, but I love this little baby doll dress. They also had it in a beautiful light blue color. And then lastly, I got um, this top, which I think is another great summer to fall transition piece. It's this little sweater, but it has shoulder pads. They had it in white too, but I love this gray color with some gold necklaces tucked into jeans, even with some boots or jean shorts, sorry, or jeans or like white pants. I don't know. I just love this top. It's so chic, so minimalistic. You can style it so many different ways. When it gets colder, I could put like a white turtleneck underneath. That would be really cute. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. And that is over. I just heard my dad got here. He just got us um, some Thai food takeout. So I'm pumped about that. I am going to head over there now. My bed's a mess, my room's a mess. My apartment in New York City is not gonna be messy. Hold me to it. And this is just like, this room is like a catch-all for all my stuff from college, from home, for life. Like, I know. Okay. Hello. Hello. Girls. Hi, girls. <laughs> Hi, girls. <laughs> oh, fresh from work. I love it. Well, oh, no, you got jeans on now. You dress so nice. He just got us some Thai food takeout. It's kind of our go to when it's takeout because we were going to go to dinner, but. The soup has one, but big one. Yeah, because I, I wanted it too. I figured we'd just get a large one. Yeah. So we got a large Tomka soup. It's like coconut soup, and I normally wouldn't be into stuff like that, but this soup is so darn good. I guess it is kind of orange, just you're right, Dad. Um, it's a little spicy. I got it with tofu. She asked what meat. I thought tofu would be good. And then my dad got the amazing chicken, which is like peanut sauce chicken. Um, and I get, I always get from any Thai restaurant, I always just get like chicken and broccoli. Um, Cause it's just so good with like a brown sauce and it obviously comes with rice. It's just comfort food. Um, this is my dad's, looks delish. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our meal. Afternoon wow. thunderstorms in Florida. If you, were, if you were in a boat in that area, you'd have a hard time seeing. I know, you can't even see over there. It's coming in. Dad, how do you feel about a tropical storm Fred coming through? My, my Fred will never hurt us. <laughs> tropical storm He'll dad here. He'll out before he gets into the bay. <laughs> Oh, hi baby. Okay, my dad just left, but I thought I'd show you guys the stuff on, because I'm trying everything on. This is everything I want and more. Like, it's so cute, literally from Express. I kind of want the white one too, but I love this gray. It contrasts really well with the jeans. Also, these pockets are so small. I keep like putting my hand in my pocket and then it's like, anyways, this is cute. Okay, this top is so cute, also from Express. I like it because it's not too cropped, so I could wear it with some nice pants or something too. This is the back. Oh, can't even see, my hair's covering it. This is the back. I really like it, I like this material, yay! This is so cute too, I really, really like this. I kind of like it with the denim shorts vibe. Um, I'm not wearing anything under it, otherwise I'd say, you know, if you're just wearing like a white tank, this would be cute, unbuttoned. A great just little casual, very Hailey Bieber vibes. Um, I love this. And also though, you could totally probably thrift this or get your dad or brother's or boyfriend's shirt, but I thought this was perfect. Okay, I love this dress. It's everything I envisioned and more. I'm glad I got the extra small. You can totally see my green underwear under this. So I will need to wear like nude underwear, but it is so perfect for summer. I really do think this would be cute with some boots or some sandals, but uh, I love this. It's so happy and like loose and comfortable since it's super hot out and everything is looking really good with my braids right now, I feel like too. All right, here's that creamsicle Zara dress. I love it. This material is such great quality. So cute. I love the back as well. Um, yeah, only good things to say. It's definitely more of a midi, which was kind of what I was wanting. Um, cute. 
Also, I wanted to show you guys the shoes on. Honestly, looks so cute with the dress. They're just a comfortable version of like a tan heel um, because I just, I don't like uncomfortable shoes. I don't do it. I only do comfortable. These are like the perfect amount of platform from Zara. I also would love them in black. Honestly, they didn't have them, but so cute. So yeah, that's everything I got. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna be doing a try on or not. I was in a rush earlier because my dad was about to be there. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna clean my room a little bit and listen to some podcasts and check to see if there's a new episode of Gossip Girl and just do things around my room. All right, I don't know if you guys can appreciate this, but this is a lot neater. I constantly am having to clean my desk. Oh man, <laughs> um, I just went through tons of clutter, like papers I saved for whatever reason. Um, so I have all my vitamins there. This looks better, you know, like I'll be able to work. I cleaned up that little area and this was super cluttered honestly too. Oh, so that feels good. Oh, I can't wait to have a more minimal apartment in New York City though. And then I'm slowly just cleaning everything out here. Um, but you guys have to hold me to it. <laughs> I don't know why, things just pile up. I'm just trying to be real with you guys. All right, you guys, it's a little bit later. I'm drinking some sleepy time tea. I drink this like every night before I go to bed. And my desk feels all nice and clean. It's only 10.30, I mean, it's, I don't know. Is that like what time I'm supposed to be going to bed now that I've graduated college? I don't know. Um, but like my parents get, my mom goes to bed and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go to bed, you know? But I'm also like a night worker. Like I always get into these big projects at night, like cleaning out my closet or cleaning out this area or cleaning my, I don't know why during the day I just want to be outside. And that's how I've always been, but I mean, it works. I get really efficient. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do a couple little things on my computer, just a couple. Um, I'm put my blue light glasses on though because I don't want to harm my eyelids. Uh, my eyelids, <laughs> my eyeballs. These are from Movement. I like them. But I just washed my face, did my skincare, put my hair in braids in hopes that tomorrow when I wake up I'll have some nice beachy waves because when I took those two front braids out it was like crimped in the front but then the rest of my hair was straight. And I think my mom and I are gonna try and hit the beach in the morning before it starts raining because it literally rains every afternoon and then I get so bummed that I didn't get to go to the beach. So. We're gonna try and do that. Um, we have a gals on the go call tomorrow. I need to get my nails done, guys. Ew, ew, ew. I got gel this time instead of SNS, and I think that's why it came off easier because I can pick at it. And SNS, I just, it's foolproof for me. Um, but yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I enjoyed making it for you guys. Please let me know if there's any more videos you guys want me to film while I'm home in Florida. Um, I'm doing like a, like I said earlier, a vlog where I show you guys all my favorite spots in Tampa, um, but I can do a summer morning routine or maybe I already will by the time this video's gone up, maybe I'll film that um, this weekend. I don't know, I'm running out of time here, but I'm so excited to take you guys along. I can't believe I'm literally moving to New York City next week. Doesn't feel real, um, but I'm so excited. So I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new here. I literally look so funny right now. Um, but I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.